Hi, I'm Jen and welcome to Teaching with Tech. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Rocketbook and how you can use them in your classroom. So Rocketbooks have been a great invention that came about in the last couple of years and they are super awesome for the classroom. There are a couple of different varieties. Um, I personally like the smaller one for myself. Um, they do come in regular notebook size. Uh, this is my daughter's. She loves to use it because she can easily store her notes for all of her classes as well as use it for her workbook pages. And it's super slim and easy to bring with her anywhere. So this is the larger size and you'll see they have the same features on the inside. You can denote what you want every one of the symbols to be so you can save it. And then over here, you can make your notes. She's got different things in here. Looks like a lot of calculus right now, but that's what she uses it for primarily. I liked the smaller size for me. It just um, was a little easier to grab and go, and it's just really all I need. So the way you use a rocket book is you have all these different symbols here that you can save or divide your subjects into. So I could have one for work meetings, one for personal, uh, one for projects. And that way, all those things that I scan will go into the same folder. So all my information will be grouped together. So for this example, let's see, I've got a to-do list right here. You'll notice you do get a little bit of, of bleed from the ink sometimes on the other pages, but it wipes right off. But here's a, an example of my to-do list. So I have that saved and then I can easily wipe off what I need and to change. Um, you only can use these Pilot friction, pen, friction pens. Um, you can use color ones as well, but I kind of like them because they are erasable. So that's a little, little added feature um, to be able to erase in the book. That's kind of nice. So um, additionally, can you erase that extra smudge on the other page? Super easy. All right, so additionally, you'll see on the pages, it's kind of hard to see, but there's little tiny dots, kind of like a bullet journal. So you can make lines if you want to, ignore them if you want to, doodle if you want to, um, whatever works for you. At the bottom of all the corners, you do have um, a, a code here, a scan code. So when you scan that, it will go with the app into your own documents. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So here's an example of a grocery list. Easy, simple grocery list. But I've been doodling on it maybe, making my list all week, and I'm ready to go to the grocery, so I wanna scan it. So what I would do is I have it marked down here on the first icon, which means it's personal. So I'm gonna take my phone and I'm going to open up Rocketbook. Easy enough. And I'm going to take a picture all I'm going to do is hold it, scan it, it's going to turn green, it took the image, and now it's saving for me. So it has saved the image for me, and it's right here. So if I've got to get groceries, I have my list with me. If I want someone else to pick up the groceries for me, all I have to do is share it. It's easy. There's a, a simple share screen, and I could look at that. So let's see, if I wanted to share it, I could easily select that to do so and send it to whoever I wanted. I can send it as a picture, or I can send it as a file. So that's super easy to look at that. I'm um, just gonna try to look at my Rocketbook and my app, see if I can show you. There's um, about four pages that you can see right now that I have scanned in there uh, for easy, easy reference. I have destinations in here, so I can tell them where to go. So if it's something from a meeting and I need to send it out to everybody, I can ha I can email it out. I can save it. I can send it to whoever's email I need to. It can email just to me directly. There's lots of defaults that you can set, so that's super helpful too. Um, in the classroom, think about that student who is out sick and somebody else has taken notes. Super easy to share that way. Or working on a group project, they can share all their information. Or if you're brainstorming and you want to combine the information, lots of different op opportunities there. And don't worry about the cost too much. You can definitely do, do a donor's choose process for your rocket books, but they aren't, they aren't unaffordable by any means. If you're only gonna buy one notebook for the whole year, the price of a rocket book is, is pretty reasonable. So basically, say I'm done with that grocery list. There's a couple of different versions. I have the wipe off book. 
but there is one that you microwave. You don't get as many uses out of it, but if you microwave it, it goes blank. Um, I really like the wipe off. They do come with a little rocket book towel. So you can see it's damp, not saturated by any means. And then my book. So here I am and I'm going to just rub and erase. So I just took that off my list easily. I'm gonna take that off too. Super easy to reuse. So rocket books are a great way to, to add to your classroom. They're a great way for virtual students to upload their information because they can scan it. So there's a lot of different uses. If you learned something new, let me know, give me a like. If you have a comment or a new way to use them, let me know that as well. Comment down below and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.